Welcome back to A Pearl in Every Cowslip's Ear. We are teaching CLE's Language Arts 700, Book 4. It's recorded live right here in the classroom as I teach. It's pretty raw. I hope you enjoy. Okay, 7th grade lesson 9. Participial phrases with compliments. This is the third lesson we've had in a row now about participial phrases. What is a participial? It ends with... Ing, or it can be ed, it can be en, it can be t, but often ing. And it's a verb form that functions as an adjective. adjective. Great. Adjectives always modify? Nouns. Nouns or pronouns. Good. Yesterday, we talked about participial phrases with other things in them, with modifiers, such as adverbs, I mean, yeah, adverbs or prepositional phrases, things like that. Today, we're talking about participial phrases with compliments. What we mean by compliments are things like direct objects, indirect objects, things like that. Let's check out the first sentence. Throwing the dog a bone, I ran to the car. Throwing what is the dog a bone. Perfect. Throwing the dog a bone, I uh, ran to the car. Throwing uh, modifies I. And what does it modify? I. Always, always, always the word right before it. Now, before we go diagram that one, oh, let's diagram it now. Now's a good time. So let's put this aside and let's just look at the rest of the sentence and put that on a diagram. I, I ran to the door under. To the car goes under. Good. Oh, to the To the car. It's a prepositional phrase modifying ran, saying where I ran to. Now we said throwing modifies throwing I. Throwing is crooked like that on a preposition scene, and then it's like that crooked like that. So we read it around the corner, throwing. Now. And, uh, and then a lion and dog is... Okay, let's look at these two words, dog and bone. Does something receive the action of throwing? Was I throwing something? What received the action of being thrown? The bone. Yeah, it's a direct object. Great. Oh, so the bone is the direct object. You I got said, it. I said the dog. So the bone is the direct object. And what is dog? Let's put it in the bone. Dog is an indirect object. So throwing the dog a bone and under here as an indirect object is dog. It's the dog. Throwing the dog a bone, I ran to the car. Complicated. But if we think of it one little thing at a time, I think you can get it. Let's find the infinitive phrase in the next, uh, not infinitive, participial phrase in the next sentence. The boy immediately answering the question won a prize. Boy, right, boy. Just the participial phrase. Let's find that first of all. Immediately answering the question. Good. Immediately answering the question. Immediately. Now, now we always start by looking at the things that are not in the prepositional phrase, in the participial phrase. What is not in there? Let's diagram that first. Uh -huh. So we're looking at the boy and won a prize. What is the verb? Boy. Uh, one. Verb is one. Who or what won? Boy, boy. Boy. The, the boy. And he won a what? Prize. A prize. As a, a direct object. Direct object. A prize. Not an E. A uh. the. Uh. The boy won a prize. Please. Attack each one of these this very same way, very simply. Start by underlining this. Then start by looking at everything that's not part of this and putting that on. Now we can start putting this on. And what is a participial phrase? Uh, I mean the participial word itself? Immediately. Answering. Which is it? Answering. Immediately. Answering. Answering. I, I'm going with him. Because that's this ing and it's a verb form. And what word does it modify? Boy. Good. These always modify nouns or pronouns. I know it's right beside the verb as well, but it's always modifying a noun or a pronoun. Boy. So it's going to go under there. So we're just going to put that word under. Answering. Yeah, you're going to quickly And then immediately under. Immediately. Great. Modifies this. And then question is a direct object. Question is a direct object. Perfect. And then hold it under. What do you think? It's not as hard as it looks. I did it, right? The, the so. All right. Uh, carry on. Please do them all like that. First of all, find your parsing phrase. Then look at all the information that's not on it and solve it that way. Carry on with your work.